Well, it's boost season. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Build It Motorsport. Today, we have bad news. Let's just say that it's got a little spice in it. So as you can tell, I am in second gear. I can definitely tell the difference on the shift. Now, interestingly enough, yeah, we are just whistling through town. Second to third gear, kind of need third gear now if we're gonna go to a quarter mile. So I shifted into third gear. Watch what happens when I try to go into third. I wish I'd taken the video, but it jarred me back in my seat. But up here we have third gear. To the third shift, it was like, hmm, I don't know. But it pulled, it was nice. Except for Yeah, we're not going any faster, so. No third gear, boys. I wish I had had the draggy, because I just got that yesterday. We have no overdrive. Overdrive clutch is smoked, and man, was it on one heck of a pull when it did it. But it grabbed third, and I don't think it was letting go a second yet, and I think it smoked our overdrive clutch. We have no third gear, so now I'm just going through town making all kinds of fun, whistly, boosty, blow-off valve noises, having a good time, having a great time. Luckily, our transmission is still well within the warranty, so I think it may be all that this kind of transmission can handle. So I bought an XJ. This is a 1998 Jeep Cherokee. Got the four liter engine in it, inline six. Uh, it's got the AW4, four speed Eisen, Eisen, however you wanna say it, transmission. And it is four wheel drive. It's got the Chrysler 8 and a quarter in the rear. It's already on a three inch lift and it's already got 31 inch tires. So that's about the best part about it. Perfect. It's also the trim level is classic. It's the classic, so it's like the nicest one you can get. But yeah, with the truck being blown up, this is what I've got. I went out and bought this thing. I've always kind of wanted one. Um, I got it for a fair enough price, but as I've had it um, since yesterday, um, I've found lots of problems with it. Um, I just had to do all four brakes. While doing the brakes, every one of these lug nuts because someone put brand new tires on it. Every one of these lug nuts was way too tight. Guys, your impact should not stop. If you got good shop air and a good impact, your impact should not stop whenever they're tight. You should hit it like a ugga dugga dugga and then torque them with the torque wrench or if you're good with a feel, grab a uh, breaker bar on a socket and just give it a little bit so you know that they're around 100 to 140 Depend on the application. Something like this, probably about 110. I can look up the spec later. Torque to spec, you guys. Goodness. Broke off one of the lug nut. Oh, it's crazy. I will show you that in a minute. But I broke off one of the lug nuts in the strangest way and had to drill it out. It's it's lovely. I mean, check out the picture. Yeah, that was fun. So I just got the brakes all done. We're short one stud over there because O'Reilly's isn't open. And I'll go get that later. But um, yeah, all new brakes. Finally got that taken care of. That was bad. That was very bad. Have some problems with the transfer case, not wanting to shift in a neutral or for low, having some problems with the linkage also. Uh, so we can get into that in another video. But yeah, you guys, here is the Jeep. Um, it's gonna be my daily, but as much stuff that's gotta be done to this and as much that it needs, you know, there's gonna be some things that are pretty cool going on too. So, you know what we do on this channel? We just build it, okay? Let's build the most part, just build it. Guys, merch, merch link in the description. Go pick up some shirts because I got a blown up transmission in the battle wagon and we need to get that thing going. And we can talk about that in another video, but for now, just gonna get the transmission already had, rebuilt, cause it's under warranty. 
Um, let's take a little tour around the Jeep, just kind of introduce you to the channel, and I'll tell you guys what I think I'm going to name it. This is the Jeep. So let's look at some things on it and just take a look. So somebody has been in here and somebody has done some things that I would consider not so savory. So we've got the four liter inline six uh, AMC motor. Um, these things are bulletproof. As long as you don't completely, you know, treat them like crap, they're pretty much bulletproof. Um, so probably gonna leave this thing completely stock as far as powertrain goes only reliability modifications this is not going to make more power it's not going to make i'm not making it go faster you guys this one is an off-road vehicle but it's going to be the daily so we'll make it look nice got some work to do batteries in there somebody's got the starter power wire off of that that's not how that was supposed to be i don't know what's going on there it's got cruise control ac got uh power steering air box factory stuff somebody put some horns in here I don't have the wire long enough to touch the battery positive, but <laughs> yeah, it's got a horn. Those things are pretty loud, um, but let's go and take a look inside of it. So right here, if you can't tell, that is a little bit messed up right there. A little bit messed up. Let's go look inside. All right, so basic stuff here, basic stuff here. Um, it's pretty much a jeep <laughs> so we need to do some work here on this fender because it is hitting right there it's pretty marred up got some stuff to do there but no big deal um when you turn the key on well somehow my wipers are on let that stop beeping at us so we have an airbag light and a check engine light now yeah it's gonna stay on even when it's running, I have a check engine light. This thing's so loud, so I'm not gonna start it right now. But, um, the check engine light, the check engine light is for the downstream O2 sensor. And you know, uh, we don't need that where we're going. So, I've got HP tuners. HP tuners will tune one of these. Keep in mind, I'm not trying to make more power on it. I'm just gonna kinda do a little bit of driver mods. And then, airbag light is on because the clock spring, which is, if you guys don't know, it is the connection, basically, that connects the steering column to the steering wheel on the wiring and the electronics because this has to be able to turn so it's like a it's called a clock stream because it's basically wires that are wound and it lets it spin a certain amount usually about i don't know three turns that way three turns this way or something like that um to let the horn work the cruise control work the cruise control i mean all that good stuff so horn don't work there is an airbag in there though you can feel it horn don't work control don't work it's because the clock screen's bad it's a common thing on these jeeps the wranglers are the same way they just it's common they they break and they go out airbag light comes on whoop to do uh, like i said o2 sensor we're going to take care of that so let's kind of look at some other stuff here is the thing that we're really going to be doing here soon i've got a week off of work coming up here in a little bit and it's about a week away and we got work we're going to take care of this there is a mod you can do to these XJs and the ZJ, which is a Grand Cherokee, same years. But this 1998 XJ Cherokee, there is a mod you can do where you take some square tube steel, or I guess it's not really square, it's rectangular tube steel beams, and you cut them to length. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this right across here, and all the way across there, I'm going to pull this whole rocker out all the way up to the front. And we're going to put that in there, and it's going to be painted black, and that's going to take care of this rust. It's going to be really nice. These doors don't have a lot of rust on them, but let's hop around to the back. I'll go ahead and show you this, too. This is the lug nut. Yeah, it just broke smooth off, and there was no way to get it out. So I ended up, I just screwed this on there for safekeeping, but I ended up just drilling it out. See? So that was fun. Um, got some rust over here. This one's a lot worse. So these doors is not so bad that I can't grind it off and then paint it back. But this is pretty rough. Well, you get the idea. Hold on, I'll kick it. Yeah, so these rockers on this side are pretty trashed. 
the doors i can grind that smooth but i'm not a body guy so it'll look like crap so i've got something in mind that looks like armor basically it's armor and it'll armor the bottoms of the doors on both sides and so i'll do a rust repair and then just paint it back black maybe color match it because it's on the edge i don't know but then basically you just cover it up with those armor plates it looks cool and it's covering your rust repair so it doesn't have to be pretty it's a jeep this thing's gonna get you know daily driven and we got this thing trying to come off so some cheap tires iron man tires whatever um i just did the brakes like i said and that was a pain but this is a jeep you guys and i think i've got a name for it um we're gonna name it battle buddy because the truck is the battle wagon so this is the battle buddy before it's done you guys will know we that's what we do here we just build it so what's what we're gonna do to this um it's a daily gotta fix it up but in doing so gonna make it look real nice get this thing back to its former glory because you know how these xj's are if you guys are xj people and you're the first time coming onto the channel Please check out some of the rest of the channel. We do some cool stuff. Most of it has been with the Battle Wagon. But Buddy here, gonna be my buddy for a while. That's all we got. The transmission of the truck's blown up. So you guys, um, check out the merch down in the description. I'm also gonna make some shirts for the Jeep because I would love for you guys to go on there and get some merch. It'll help me out, get the truck fixed up, and it would help me get this thing ready for the winter because it's not really wet ready for the winter. I picked it up yesterday, and other than the brakes, that's all I've been able to do. It's kind of in rough shape. So, guys, please subscribe. See you on the next one.